Hello children. Today we will continue with the second chapter in geography, endogenetic movements. So here we have another activity which is there in your textbook. So what you have to do here is that you have to take a long strip of thin paper. Now you have to hold one end of the paper in your right hand and the other end with your left hand. Now you need to pull both the ends away from each other. So children try this at home and observe what happens. So children after you have done with this activity you will observe that due to pressure tension is created and the strip tears into two parts. So, this was because the movements occur in opposite direction. Tension is generated and faults are formed in the earth's crust. So, children, as we saw the previous activity, similarly, Block mountains are formed due to the horizontal waves moving away from each other. So, this causes tension on the layers of the rock which in turn leads to formation of fractures in the rocks. So, these fractures are called as faults, F-A-U-L-T-S faults. So, waves coming towards each other in hard rocks also form faults due to compression. When a part of the earth's crust in between two parallel faults is lifted, it looks like a block. So, such landforms are called as block mountain. The top part of block mountains are flat. You can see this in the picture. The top part is flat and their slopes are steep. So there are some examples here of block mountain. The first one is Black Forest Mountain in Europe and the Meghalaya Plateau of India. We have another activity. In this, you need to take three notebooks of the same size. Then, you need to hold them on tightly on a table keeping a distance of 2 to 3 centimeters. After that, Remove the two books on each end away from the central book and observe what happens. So children, after you have done this activity, you will observe that when you remove the two books, the central part of the book subsided, which means it fell down. Similarly, when horizontal movements on the earth's surface act in opposite direction, it causes tension on the rocks. And as the tension increases, fractures or cracks develop. The rocks on both the ends slide and the continuity in the layers of rocks is not found. So children, now we will start with the Rift Valley. As the previous activity of the books, you saw what happened. So Rift Valleys are formed due to the same thing that you did with the books. Here, the land in between two fractures subsides or goes down. The slopes of rift valley are steep.
so there are some examples of rift valley that is narmada river in india the great rift valley in africa the rhine river rift valley of europe are the examples of rift valley so now we will do the continent building the second part of slow movements that is continent building slow movements occur towards the center of the earth's center of the crust so because of these movements a vast part of the earth's crust is uplifted or gets subsided when the part of the earth's crust is uplifted above sea level continents are formed therefore these movements are called continent building extensive plateaus are also formed if the originally continental portion of the crust subsides below the sea level it forms a part of the sea level okay children we will stop here for today the next part of the chapter will be explained in the next video